official philanthropy of the MLB umpires is proud to be saluting the service of veterans across the country over the 4th of July weekend. Ump's Care is partnering with the Wounded Warrior Umpire Academy, which trains wounded veterans to become umpires in communities all over the United States. Brett Hollander is with a special guest to tell us more about this wonderful collaboration. And we are right now with Amy Rosewater, who's the head of communications for Umps Cares, which is the official charity of Major League Baseball umpires. And Amy, you guys do incredible work. When and how did you guys form? We formed in 2006. It was basically a grassroots charity that the umpires created to give back to the communities through the game they love, which is baseball, of course. So we bring folks onto the baseball fields. We do hospital visits and we have college scholarships. And we just launched an official leadership program where we're training teens to become umpires. This is kind of amazing to me. You're talking about all the Major League Baseball umpires. As we know, they travel coast to coast. Correct. But your headquarters are here in Maryland. In Edgewater. So we are, we are headquartered here. We have a mighty staff of three, and we work from this area. We joke that we work from our homes before it was cool to work from your home. Um, but we are based here, and that's why it's so exciting to be here today with the Orioles, because this is kind of... Not our home team, but our home location. How about that? Umpires can't say home team, but it's for you. It's your home team right. here in Maryland. <laughs> so get into some of the details. You guys have a wide range of projects and things you're involved with. Tell me about some of those specifically. So the Blue Crew Ticket Program, which we are working with today, we bring out different organizations, uh, youth organizations and military groups to the ballparks. And they get to go on the field. They get to meet the umps before the game. Um, it's a little bit different this year with COVID. Everything's a little bit crazy, but we've been working our magic. We have two veterans here today from the Wounded Warrior Umpire Academy who were wounded warriors and now training to be umpires in their communities. So what a perfect mix for them to be able to come here, talk to the umpires, meet them, learn about the field from the pros. That's really amazing. I saw one veteran who was in the program who is here today was meeting uh, with one of today's game day umpires just a few moments ago. Yes, he got to um, meet Todd Tishner, who's the first base umpire today, which is really cool. And um, just kind of ask him a couple questions, uh, talk to him about what it's like. I heard he had a big uh, scar from last night umpiring. He got beamed in the arm and Todd uh, has been there, done that, so. And I know you have a ball that's actually signed by umpires, including Todd Titchener, right there. Right here. And also, you give away these coins for people who are in your program. So the veterans bring the coins to the umpires, which is really cool. So when we have military groups, they like to trade those, and that's a really neat thing for the umpires to have, is these coins, and they keep them, and um, it's just a really cool souvenir. Amy Rosewater, Head of Communications for Umps Cares. Thank you so much for the great work that you do. Awesome. And if I could just give a quick plug to our Stars and Strikes program, we are having 160 folks from the Wounded Warrior Umpire Academy at 17 ballparks this weekend. So we have had our hands full. The umpires have been super busy and umpscare.com. Amy, thank you so much. It's a great charity for Major League Baseball. It's a great charity for umpires, and it's really a hometown charity right here in Maryland.